Uh, this is the grading. This is A plus. And uh, then I'll assign the grades fairly. And then I'll look at the homework scores. And this will cause migration across these boundaries and so on. So roughly all the homeworks that are above a certain standard that will make itself apparent uh, when we see what the homework scores are, uh, we'll get an arrow. And so this will cause a slight amount of grade inflation. So that's how homework is going to count. Now, how many people's grades are going to be affected by that? Well, uh, probably at least 10 people in a class of size uh, across boundaries. Look, this might be uh, A minus, B plus, and so on. The reason it's not more is because most of the arrows I predict will already be in the A category. That is, someone who does all the homework is already, uh, doesn't uh, need the augmentation. But that's the way it works. All right. So, uh, these lectures are being videotaped and we'll make them available on the website. I don't know how soon, but probably within a matter of a few a uh, few days. Now, most of the lectures, I think, will probably take a break halfway through to allow people to. Um, get more handouts or whatever it is they need. Now, does everyone have a copy of the questionnaire? Raise your hands if you do. Raise your hands if you don't. Oh, we need that. We need the questionnaire. All right, the questionnaire is full of fun questions. <laughs> and I want everyone to fill it out. It, uh, let's see what's on it here. <laughs> Move it away. Do you have a copy of the questionnaire? Thank you. All right. Your name, your major, and your year. For example, you might be a master's student right now. Or you might be past your PhD. You might be an auditor. If you are, you should put that down. Um, relevant courses taken. Everyone here should have at least had stat. 116. You need a certain amount of probabilistic maturity uh, to find uh, these questions interesting. Uh, I ask for hobbies, special interests, and skills, like you might put down skiing or uh, a musical instrument or uh, online poker. Whatever. All right. Now, also at the bottom of this questionnaire, I ask you to write down the smallest positive integer, it's one, two, three, four, five, that no one else in the class writes down. So, we'll report uh, what the distribution of the integers chosen is and who wins that particular contest. <laughs> So you write down the smallest positive integer that no one else writes down. It might turn out to be one, because you all say, well, everyone will choose one because it's the smallest integer, so I won't choose it. And if you all think that way, then there's room for the contrarian to, to win. Now, on the other side of this, I ask for a recent result, discovery, or observation, like have you found a new proof for the Pythagorean theorem, 
or uh, have you just uh, uh, changed political parties or whatever? Random remarks were also uh, supposed to scoop up uh, cons- uh, your uh, your remarks there. And then uh, the last question is choose a random number less than 10. Uh, and so there's, just do so. Write down such a number and we'll report on what you all wrote down. Because uh, you'll get a feeling for who else is in the class from answers like this. All right, now, you will need the questionnaire, so what I'll do is at the break, uh, maybe in half an hour, we'll uh, get some more questionnaires for you. Okay? Thanks. You may as well overshoot on that. Go to them, say, maybe just get 40 of them. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I would now like to give the lecture, which is the whole course. Uh, it's sort of the first lecture, the last lecture, and so on. So to do so, I can't spend any time defining things rigorously. We'll start on that on Thursday. So, But I will give an indication of what the major functionals in the subject are, and what are the questions to which these are the answers. So if this is a sort of lecture that you might give if you were giving uh, a preview of the subject, uh, and but you weren't trying to convince anybody of any particular item. So, let's begin. The important functionals um, I'll let P of X be the probability that the random variable X is equal to little x. And uh, p of x, y, similarly, is the probability that the pair x, y, little x, little y. We all know that there are some important functionals related to these underlying distributions. One of them is the expected value. So expected value of x is defined to be summation of x, p of x, over all x. It has its integral counterpart. If this is a probability density, uh, then this is the integral of x, df of x. So. Now why is this of particular interest? And the reason it's of particular interest, I think, is because it's the answer to a large number of fundamental questions. And the biggest question it's the answer to is the law of large numbers. So this then, LLN, law of large numbers, says that uh, 1 over n summation of xi, i equals 1 to n, where these random variables are independent, identical, drawn according to P, with probability 1, 